Hi, and I'm back with another Laravel tutorial. And this tutorial is a very special tutorial. I'll show you how to debug real-world problem based on your client's requirements or your own project's requirements. Well, this morning I got a call from my client, which actually I got a message, and where it says that uh, her client was trying to submit a form and she couldn't submit it well. So actually I don't have the message history here. Well, I debugged the problem and she actually was typing in too long phone number. That's why her Laravel app was crashing or the website and it was getting error 500. But uh, in general, what should you do if you get an error where it says that you, a, a form could not be submitted and you get the error 500? Well, error 500 definitely means that there's a problem with the coding, not really um, uh, with anything else or outside problems. So in general, if you get error like 500, it means the problem may be in your code and most of the time if it's database related application, maybe you, you, you won't be able to submit the data or something wrong with the data and that's why you have this problem. Okay, so when I got this message from my client, uh, the first thing I thought that, okay, let me go ahead and uh, simulate this uh, form submission. So which I'll do it very quickly and say I'll do test and uh, everything else I'll keep it as default here so that uh, uh, if I can simulate the error. So let me let me just choose random things. Okay, things, all right, experience, doesn't matter. I spell it here and uh, China okay well now let's submit it and let's see what we get here well now it's an I'm skipping degree so this is just a random form submission but in real world as you can see it from here okay now I'll see what happens here uh, it's still submitting a bit slow okay well it says that thanks for sending us your application will be in touch soon but I didn't get the error so what to do next so if you can't reproduce an error so you should look into the log data so here is my FTP and uh, so I'll see it. So it's a Laravel application. So in general, if it's a Laravel application, you all the logs data are stored in storage file over here and in logs. So open it. In general, you would go there and open it and view the logs. Okay, so the problem occurred today. Today is uh, March 16th. So I'll pull this up and view it in my uh, sublime text so here it is my learnable log today and as I can see it says SQLite error so which means database error so we know that oops it's gone I don't know what happened maybe it's loading oh okay something's wrong anyway so uh, it says SQLite error so this kind of error if you have that means that uh, definitely it's the problem in database and it also means that you couldn't submit the data and there is more information like write truncated truncated it means uh, the data was too long and it could not submit so that was the problem but of course you can see in my form there are many fields here like if I go back and uh, so there are so many fields so I didn't know where it was so which field but I was looking through the data well, it, first it says the phone, right? So yeah, great. So we know that is the problem with the phone value over here. It's over here. So it means my primary guess, maybe she, she might type something wrong or maybe too long and let's confirm our uh, conception. So it says the phone. Okay, so let's find her phone number here. So well, the only phone number could be here is this one because it started with uh, plus and uh, so I guess there they could be number from anywhere in the world so well in general clients or people don't really submit this kind of phone number but this client submitted uh, or this user submitted this kind of weird phone number which is slash which means obviously she was typing in two numbers so that's my first impression okay so how to deal with this kind of problem of course you can't tell every user hey don't type in two numbers I mean you don't know where they are from so somehow the app has to solve this problem so well one way to solve this problem is I can change the database and uh, I can change the length of the database phone column because it says that uh, write truncated so some of the data needs to be 
uh, cut off, but uh, that means that my data column is too small. But it was perfectly okay for just one phone number, but not two phone numbers because it's way too long. So one of the ways to do it is uh, you can go ahead on your database, open up your database, and you can you can change it. Say for example, I'm I'm opening up my database over here. So my server. So I'll, I'll go to cPanel and I'll observe it. So what what's happening here? What's the length of my um, um, the database column so it's loading here so you guys have to wait a bit uh, so there are a few ways to deal with this thing so if you first thing you could do directly um, find your um, PHP admin and get over there and see the length of this uh, uh, data column the other one would be just to give clients a hint that, hey you are doing this you're, you're typing in too long so don't do that uh, sorry guys, my hand is a bit slow, so you guys need to wait. Okay, here we go. Well, this is uh, my database. Uh, it's, it's loading a bit slow though. Well, it's a real world uh, situation that I'm, I'm showing you guys. So, um, you can use it uh, if you have a problem or uh, encounter the similar problem. So, well, they're showing up slowly here. So my network, so let's find phone number, maybe, okay, so no, not this one. So I want this table because this is where the data is submitted, I know. And uh, now open up each column of this table. Uh, so as you can see, my phone number could be somewhere here. Uh, okay, let's go, I'll go ahead and see the column. Okay, so where is my phone number? Let's find the phone number. Okay, phone. You see, it's virtual 30, so it only holds 30 characters. But obviously, uh, the client who tried to submit it, the data, it was more than 30 characters. Uh, like if we see here, actually, if you count it, it's more than 30 characters. So that's why it was showing error. So one thing I could do is like, uh, so I can, I can, uh, I can just to change it like 30 to 40 and that will solve the problem but again some users might type in too long so I, I don't want too many phone numbers at a time I also don't want any slash as you can see there is slash here so the first thing like we can change it directly from here which I will not do it okay so I'll, I'll change the code and give the user hint that you are typing too many phone numbers or it's too long or you have unnecessary uh, characters like slash things like that so well, let's go ahead and dive into the code and we'll change the code so I already downloaded my code where the code related code is resume of blade so this is a Laravel application so I'm using blade on the front end so let's find my phone number and the phone input ID and let's see okay so this is the guy here and I can see already that he has a uh, uh, ID called phone so I can use this ID to deal with the problem and give the user a hint to do that, I want to do it during uh, when the type in the you know, submit the form. So my form uh, submit handler is over here. Well, there are many other checks there, but you don't need to worry about. So we just focus on phone number problem. So we want to call a function before we uh, call the submit form handler like this one. So we want to check the data. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a form. Create, sorry, create a function. So I'll call it function val phone. Okay, cool. So now I want to get the ID. So actually, uh, we know that our ID is uh, uh, document dot get um, by ID. Our ID is phone, which we saw a little earlier in the text over here. I mean, sorry, the input field. We just over here. So our ID is phone. So we can get the ID and value and length and everything in our uh, uh, in our code over here. So because we are getting the uh, ID and once we have the ID, we can also have the value and length and everything like that. Okay. So well, I don't want to call it ID. I just want to call it phone. It's fine. And now once I have the phone, uh, so now I have the object here, right? So I can get the value from it. Okay. So I'll check if phone dot value 
the blank. So first I want to ch check the length of the phone number that typed in. If it's more than 20, I don't want more than 20, 30 is too long. Okay, even the database it is 30, but I want to keep it, check it 20 and we are done, right? Okay, if it's more than 20, then uh, we'll return false, okay? Return false and the form will not be submitted. Okay, but at the same time, I'm gonna give user a hint like alert that it is too long. Your phone number is too long. Uh, so that's all, right? And but as you can see, as you saw from the data over here, that they're also typing in slash, which I don't want. Slash obviously means maybe two phone numbers. So we'll check for this slash here. So to do that, we'll use uh, JavaScript rejects function. So value dot match. Mm. So we'll call it rejects here. Uh, uh, X three. I think that's what they call it. So sorry, let me call, so let's see the code for rejects. So this one. Okay, I'll just call it directly. Actually, I can copy this one over here and I'll type in in my code and we're good to go. But of course, this value is, uh, we'll check in for phone value, phone.value, we're good. So if we have a slash here, we also need to give uh, alert to the user that you are doing it wrong. So if, if we have a slash, it means, definitely means that that they're trying to type in two phone number. So alert is you are typing in two phone numbers. Just use one phone number. Okay, all right. Okay, so and then else. So if it's else here, so Okay, so what is happening here? So, like for example, if it's really more than 20, but uh, just more than 20, okay, and it also has a slash, then we'll fall back in this code. Otherwise, we'll just tell the user that it's just too long, okay? So we can return false here, and return false here as well, return Okay, and otherwise we'd be always returning true. Okay, cool. So again, once again, we get the value from our phone ID. The object is here, and then we check the length. If it is more than 20, then we, uh, first we check if it's more than 20 or not, then we fall in this code, and then we check if it has slash or not. If it has slash, then we fall over here and give the necessary hints. Otherwise, if it's just too long, but no other slash, then we say your phone number is too 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 um, too long, and we return false. Otherwise, we'd be returning true in each case. So actually, the true statement should be here. All right. So let's save it. But now we need to call it to validate our condition. So we can call it here if val phone. Sorry. Okay. If val phone returns true then we submit the form otherwise we don't submit the form but at the same time user will get to see this information and they can just change the information and change the necessary information and submit the form again all right so let's uh, let's uh, save it and we'll put it into the real server in the real world so my code should be here over here uh, let's see in views. Sorry, this uh, FTP is a bit slow in my in my side. So my code is uh, let's see a lot of code here, guys. Um, where is my resume? I can't find the resume. 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 Oh, this one. Yes, right. So let's save it. Okay. Right. So now let's uh, try to submit the form with the user the way user did the only difference we need to make okay so we need to copy and let's see what we get right now exactly the user did first we need to reload the form okay and we'll just uh, do a quick fill up 
quick fill up and for phone number we'll use uh, the way user did and the necessary quick fill up and uh, let's see uh, the test because we need to use all this information this is optional though so we have everything ready now because we have slash and it's too long so hopefully we'll get this error message first get this error message too long and just use one phone number because it is with slash and more than 20 so let's submit the form and see oops i'm missing degree here say ss doesn't matter okay yes you are typing in two phone number just use one one phone number okay all right now let's go ahead and uh, uh, change the slash all right well of course uh, i can also check for double plus which i didn't which, but in future future version i will definitely check for two pluses uh, let's go ahead and submit it again no now it's phone number is it too long it's because it's more than 30 so uh so just reduce it and maybe you can type type in a bit more number because they are still not 20 and some phone numbers are really long so let's go ahead and submit it okay in this time submission has been successful as you can see okay so guys this was the real world simulation of data so uh, you can you can actually if you have error in future on your Laravel application or any kind of PHP or any kind of web application the first thing to try to do is simulate or reproduce the error on your application and if you can't uh, then definitely uh, you need to come back and see the log file for Laravel applications. The log files they are all located in storage logs. If it's of course if it's a shared server, if it's a dedicated server, it could be somewhere else like in in your like www directory. They also store log files over there. So, but in general for shared server under storage logs, you can file all the log information, and uh, and when you view the file in general, you look for the word called error. And when you say SQLite, blah, 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 this kind of errors are all uh, database related error. At the same time, it tells you where the error occurred, where the error ha happened. So it's relatively easy to solve. Well, when I first came into coding, debugging was a bit hard, but I also learned it the hard way. So I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. So if you guys like, like the video, mm, so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much.